Three Mears and his sidekick, Gordon, signed off their series with a trip to the woodlands. And straight away, Ray was off eating weeds and anything he could get his hands on. What you have to look for is this dark reddy brown colour like that one, when they turn really soft and squidgy. Oh, that's really nice. Beautiful eating. Really nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm, nice. A little bit, little bit bitter, but uh, oh, oh. This, uh, swallow. Oh, another one. <laughs> 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 mm. Just swallow that down. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Um, Quite delicious, but it's very important to spit out the seeds because they contain cyanide. <laughs> Me. You don't want to eat too many berries, though. Might spoil your dinner. We're going to heat rocks in the fire until they're red hot and then add them to the mush. <laughs> we know that this method was used in other parts of the world and it will be an interesting experiment. It doesn't look very appetising, does it? I don't know. Brown mush with some hot rocks in it. <laughs> Rocks might be a bit chewy, but... <laughs> well, there you have it. A very successful experiment. That is a delicious meal. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> That's the main course. What's for pudding, Ray? <laughs> See, although it's very messy, we are getting most of the juice, so most of the stones, with the odd one escaping, Gordon's pulling those out. But most of the juice is going into this bowl. Shouldn't you be at work? <laughs> it is a rather long and messy process, but it's worth it. Just look at the result. Now, that fruit jelly can be sliced and laid out in the sun on mats to dry into a hard fruit leather, and then that can be stored long term. Yeah, anything but eat it. <laughs> Naturally, Ray had some that he'd made earlier. And that's what it looks like when it's been sliced and dried. In fact, this is three years old. Yeah, he's had it for three years and he still hasn't eaten it. <laughs> so, what's it taste like? That's beautiful. It's the nearest thing to a sweet from a sweet shop. Yes, it's a fruit gum. <laughs> fruit gum. <laughs> the Raymere Sweet Range. <laughs> There's the fruit gums. <laughs> I like the black fruit gums myself. Oh, it's a brown one. Uh, oh, it's a brown one. <laughs> it's a br they're all brown ones. Um, <laughs> then there's the Ray Mears version of the walnut whip, which is uh, similar to a walnut whip, but with a conker on top. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the... Uh, the sherbet dib dab, which is uh, a stick with a conker on, uh, in a bag of dirt. <laughs> mm. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you're missing the point. The idea is that this is the sort of food they used to eat in Mesolithic times. It's still as good as it was three years ago. Yeah. We've got no evidence that this was done in the past. <laughs> it's basically just two men playing camps, isn't it? I'm going to miss Ray, though, although I did think at the farewell barbecue, Ray was a little bit rude about his faithful companion, Gordon. I've invited some friends who also helped us over the years in some of the projects to come and sample some of the delights of this boar. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit harsh. 